what's your take on polygyny? Are you a polygynist man yourself? I don't know if you've been in polygyny before. Just give us a bit of background, inshallah. Yeah, I've never been in polygyny. I've been married to my wife now, what is it, 2022, so 12 years now. I think it's some, I'm open to it. I, at some point, I'd like to, to try it, but I'm wary, of, I'm wary of the life that I've built with my wife. And, and I don't want to, I don't want to jeopardize that over some new pum pum. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Like some new flavors are nice, but it's not worth like destroying your life over. Let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something. Yeah. It's nice, but best of Allah, yani, it's all the same, bro. It's all the same. If you close your eyes, if you were to close your eyes, I guarantee you would not be able to tell which wife it was. I guarantee it. You would not be able to tell. It's all the same. Every time my wife hears me say that, she's one, one of them. She says to me, thanks, Mahdi. You're making me feel really special. I'm like, bruv, I'm just like reporting the truth out here. I'm just a reporter. I'm just the journalist. Exactly. exactly. And also, I'm also wary of making sure I do it the right way because I don't want to show up on the day of judgment and then I messed up with this just because I messed up doing this and then just because I wanted to get a taste, you know? Because let's be honest, like the only reason we're doing it is doing this is for the variety mm -hmm. there might might be like the rare like 0.1 percent of saints in the ummah who have a higher purpose in doing this but for the most part the only reason who these people do it or men do it is because they want to do it it's, it's good to be honest about the reason why we're doing it so there's this podcaster his name is james altucher he says there's the good reason and the real reason for why people do things the good reason is the one that they tell you to your face the one that you'll accept yeah, mashallah, we want to support the divorced sisters, the widows. We want to fulfill the sunnah. Marry two, three, or four. Unless you can, you're scared you can't do justice, then don't marry only one. The real reason is guys want access to as many females as they can. And Islam came to put a limit on that. So that's the real reason. So I have no problem with polygyny. I'm a polygyny respecter, fan of polygyny. If it turns out that I'm, I'll be able to practice it, I will. If not, it's not a big deal. I have three businesses I'm trying to grow. And so I'm also mindful of that. I'm somebody who doesn't like hassle. I don't like drama. And so I would rather, my wife makes my life very easy for me. And I have three businesses run. And so why would I jeopardize that over just trying to get a taste of this thing? You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's my view on it. But I'm down with it 100%. I'm not, I wish I would be able to practice it in a way that doesn't make my life difficult, but if not, then it's not a big deal. I heard there's this app called No Strings De Care, whereby <laughs> sisters are looking for some type of arrangement that you can reach. Yeah, just some apparently some guy has made it or something like this. Anyways, it's a good thing. And in in this case also, that's something that I would be down with. But then again, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to jeopardize the life I've built already. So it has to oh, be 100. percent And even though it'll be like, even though I don't have to consult my wife, I would consult her over it. I wouldn't do anything without her permission, even though I don't need her permission. Because, like, why do I? Why would I have to go to the hassle? Because like you're like you want to bring the fic into it, but then you're dealing with humans at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah Monsieur, I'm, I'm, you don't have to you don't have to announce the marriage. You can be secret, Monsieur, this and that. But you're dealing with human beings at the end of the right. day. And I am first and foremost a practical man, right? And so I'm not interested in doing dumb shit and blowing up my life over dumb shit. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah, and the more you have, the more you have to lose. It's quite clear that you've built your life. You're at a stage now whereby you're coming into your prime now. How old are you, Akhi Nabil? I had my 40th birthday in June. MashaAllah. So that's it. Now. 40 is the age of ashudda, of, of maturity. Between the age of 40 and 60, these are your prime years. So I get it. It's more of a calculated thing. I had a, a live with a brother, Nasir Al-Amin. I was on his channel, on Naima, Sister Naima's channel. And he mentioned, like, if I take on another wife, she has to genuinely bring value to my life because I'm good. Exactly. I'm good. Exactly. Yeah, I'm good. I'm in a good place. I'm in a good spot. So if I'm going to take on that responsibility, then I need to know, Habibti, what are you bring to the table? And don't just, it's don't... business. It's business at the end of the day. It's business. Yeah, it's a transaction. Yeah. It's a transaction. 100%. And I will say, I want to temper my statement just for the guys watching right now. When I said just now, it's all the same. Because I know guys hate it when they hear men say that. What do you mean it's all the same? It's like when guys say, oh, having lots of money is not all that. It's not all that being rich. They're actually right. It's true. It's not all that. But it's very offensive to hear that from someone who has it all, whilst the other person who's hearing it doesn't have much at all. It's like yeah. telling a starving person, oh, eating food and getting full up is not all that. It's not a big deal. Yeah, but the guy's starving, bro. You understand? So I want to temper that statement by saying, 
try it. And if you want to try it, then try it. Just make sure you don't blow up your life, like Nabil said just now. Don't blow up your life over it. And you will realize for yourself that it really is, it's all the same, man. When the Messenger of Allah وسلم, was with his companions once, and if I'm not mistaken, a woman walked past and he said to one of the companions, "When if you see this and you feel some type of way, go home to your wife. I'm paraphrasing what he said. Because what this woman has, your wife has as well. She has the same thing. It is the same thing. So absolutely, I agree with this. It is definitely not even a discussion, not worth blowing up your life over something that the wife you have already had it. Now, if you're with a woman who where things are rocky and she doesn't give you peace and so on, that's a different story. But if you're in a good place with your wife, you don't want to blow up your life over the sake of another shisma. I have multiple wives myself. I never disclose how many I have, but more than one, less than five. That's my generic answer to the brothers who want to know. And I don't I do not take risks whereby I'm gonna blow up my life, Danny. Actually, I'll just be just. You know what? This is for NSN. I go out with I go out with my wives together. We go out together. We go out like a crew. <laughs> and it's funny because we, if you see us, it's like people are looking like, is he the bodyguard? Are those his sisters? What's going on? And then sometimes if my arms are around them, they're like, no, it can't be. Say it ain't so. But my point is, I'm not down to blow up my life over, over taking uh, another habibti on. It's. I want to say it's not worth it. It's beyond not worth it. The hassle and drama that comes with it and so on. And it's like also you got to think about the cost associated with it. Okay, I know no since the car is has a special kind of solution to this, to this issue. But if the only reason you're going for no strings nikah is because you can't afford to get a, a, a co-wife, then you got to really think about what you're doing. So like from the man's perspective, I can understand from the woman's perspective, like she has, she has a stronger reason for going for the no strings nikah model than the, the man does. So, like a lot of, the, I see a lot of the guys in the app and like these people, I can tell they're barely holding on to one wife. Mm. and they're going for they're going for another wife they want some strange on the slide and so that's something you got to be really careful of because there's going to be costs associated with this and no matter even if it's no sense to cut option three there are going to be costs associated with it and mm. if you can't even afford those costs like you have no business taking on taking on another wife yeah and this is again this is got this is bringing me back now to my initial thought of my my concern with NSN is that it's going to attract bottom feeders. And the truth is, it's not for bottom feeders, because one way or another, women are picking winners, even if she's willing to relinquish many of her rights, whether it's provision or time and so on. Don't get it twisted. What she is relinquishing here, she's just upping the ante here. So if she's relinquishing methylen, for example, time or provision, like completely, let's say she says, just come to me once a week. Don't worry about money. I've got that. Guess what? You better be jacked, bruv. You better be able to do quite a few rounds without breaking a sweat because she's relinquishing here. That's why I integrated a, a fitness component with AFSA. And by the way, shout out to six of you. Six of you, mashallah, have got a plan with AFSA. They're going through their NSN uh, transformations, mashallah. So I'm very happy to hear that, alhamdulillah. But whatever she's given up here, bro, it's just overcompensating on this side. You yeah. can't be coming like you, you can barely run a mile and you're getting out of breath and all the rest of it. No, 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 no. Habibi, it doesn't work like that. You have to be no. Philip. Philip from You have Ghana. to be Philip. <laughs> Philip. Yes, absolutely. Philip from Ghana. 